Cat, it's Max Winch here. This time with a quick review of an interesting little Nebo flashlight. Nebo seems to be a pretty decent manufacturer, but they their sales team is a little bit interesting because they have all sorts of models of flashlights that you can go in and pick up in the store like I did this one here. And it was actually kind of expensive. I think I paid 20 bucks. I guess it's not really that bad considering what it has. But man, this thing is like difficult to find online. It's a 43010. And like just a couple websites list this. And I just think, you know, it's so strange. Nebo needs to get that in order. If you want to sell stuff, people got to be able to find it. But somehow you get it in the stores. Three triple A's. What makes this interesting? We have an 80 lumen regular flashlight. We have a 5 LED, like 16 lumen green light. We have a 5 LED UV light. We have a laser pointer. And uh, then we have a flashing green mode, and I thought that was really interesting. And then looking through the manual, this also has an SOS mode. And you press and long hold, and then it's flashing everything. The laser, the center light, the green, and the UV in an actual SOS Morse code. And I thought, this is just the oddest little flashlight. The center light isn't particularly bright, so I'm not going to do any kind of uh, big comparisons. Let's take a look. It's only 80 lumens, so it's just like a normal kind of flashlight, like any really a modern 2AA flashlight. But I think this has three just so it can last longer and because some of those other configurations need more juice. The green, I'm just not exactly sure. Maybe it's a high contrast type of thing. Maybe if you're hiking uh, and... Maybe it's a little less visible to animals. I'm To tell you the truth, I don't really know the purpose of the green light. Otherwise, it's kind of cool and it would be kind of a cool party flashlight. The UV, uh, really, you can use this to check, uh, of course, currency from most places in the world will have some kind of UV. You can also use this to detect scorpions. It's probably the best use of the UV light. Uh, and speaking of picking up scorpions, we can... Oh, that's uh, some... Depleted uranium from the Trojan nuclear power plant. Not there. Let's see. Maybe this is a scorpion. Although that does make it look green. That's not a scorpion. That's a uh, yellow jacket or Japanese hornet that you don't want to be stung by. Oh, here we go here. And it's actually difficult because the way cameras pick up on UV. But you can see that the actual scorpion's body is glowing. And nobody really knows why scorpions glow in UV. This is a really small scorpion, but you should know that the smaller the scorpion, the more poisonous they are. It's surprising. But since they have small bodies, they have to have more poison to make up for it. And then just a basic laser pointer. So anyway, I just wanted to do a pretty quick little review of this thing. Because I thought it was pretty neat. And I'll tell you the truth, I kind of wish manufacturers would come out with more lights that were like this. Just because they're... You know, as far as the technology is concerned, you know, with all the different LEDs, I like, you know, expanding the uh, possibilities, I should say. Or the operational envelope versus just being a flashlight. You know, why not have, I'm surprised that there isn't super high power flashlights that are just RG, red, green, and blue uh, flashlights with adjustable colors. So you can have a flashlight that has a powerful beam of any variable color you want. I think that would be pretty cool. Haven't seen any of those on the market, but I'm sure they'll be there soon and They'll sell like hotcakes. This does have a glow-in-the-dark button. I don't know if it'll glow very well here. Maybe just a little bit. Here, let me turn that off and see. There you go. Glow-in-the-dark button, which I also liked. And they do have a rare earth magnet. And so, uh, I wish a lot more flashlights had glow-in-the-dark buttons. That would be pretty cool, too. Anyway, a lot of neat little innovations and ideas in this flashlight. Too bad it's kind of hard to find. And just, not just this model, but flashlights that are like this, that are multifunctional. So just wanted to bring that to your attention. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out. Oop, almost forgot to mention, the one thing I like about the Nebos is if you really look close on these Nebos, they have some pretty nice machining. They really just don't have boogers or, eh, you know, maybe they could have deburred this self-defense ring a little bit better. But they always have had a nice fit. Uh, pretty nice machining and a nice uh, finish. Okay, see you guys later.